This is America. Don't catch you sipping up. Look how I'm living up. Police be tripping up. Yeah, this is America. Guns in my area. So before we start, can you guys give us a bit of a brief introduction about yourselves, who you are and your music? Check my hair out. Yeah, let's do that. Introduction. My name is Jack. Uh, my name's Freddie. Um, I'm Archie. And I'm Ethan. And together we are... Miriam. All in time. Perfect. Um, and we are a... We're pop... What else do we have to say about us? God. We're really good. Yeah. We make <laughs> really amazing. So you've recently released an EP, an EP called God Bless the Teens, Not the Tunes. Yes. Um, could you tell us a bit more about that and like the meaning <coughs> behind uh, the EP as okay. a whole and like the okay. writing process for it? So really, we started writing that back like a year ago, like May, a bit before even. And it was, I don't know. I think that whole EP for us is us finding ourselves a bit more. It's a bit, um, it's a bit more outward looking. I'd say it's a bit less introspective. It's a bit more looking at society a little bit, and you know, not not being preachy at all because I'm confused about how people work, so I can't really judge anything. But I think yeah, the writing is a lot just analyzing from a very personal point of view how things and I, yeah i mean it says um, the god bless the teens not the teens is kind of we took it from freddie's dad do you want me to tell the story freddie well <laughs> my dad got really drunk one day yeah. he started saying um what was it god bless the trees not the trees yeah and i think yeah we we found that very funny and it was kind of you know our thing like we we, we just found it very funny, even though it's not that funny. But then Ethan came up with an idea, it's like, God bless the teens, and we're like, oh, we quite like that. It kind of encapsulates what we're about. But then we thought it's a bit, like, a bit too in your face. So we thought we mix this thing that's very personal to us, because the EP is very personal to us, even if it is outward-looking or whatever. I think, yeah, it's a very personal EP to us, so... Just putting those two together seemed like, a, but yeah, the, the EP. I don't know. Uh, it's it's so long ago since we actually finished writing those songs. Mm -hmm. We're already near. Well, we're already writing for like the fourth EP and stuff. So it's like, yeah. And Archie, Ethan, anything you guys want to add about the second EP? You nailed it. You nailed it. Too, right? Yeah, I don't think there's anything else. Yeah. Um, so on the topic of your music. Um, you guys have got quite a unique sound that we've seen capture like many kind of people around the scene. What are some of your inspirations that you take experience from writing from? Um, <laughs> I guess we all kind of listen to the same kind of music, but I guess, I don't know. I feel like we all kind of bounce off each other. So there's a lot of 1975, which is like probably the main influence for every band nowadays. And then there's also like the neighbourhood. It's kind of like that, 2012 emo pop that we are like really into yeah. and like the massive yeah. electronic drums and that kind of thing i feel like that's, yeah, that's, that's really that's, a big part of our sound that's definitely that yeah and the second ep i think that is what what it is i think we we definitely tend to indulge in artists quite a lot like when we like someone at least myself i kind of obsess over people and the second ep I think it's a very obvious kind of, it's very, yeah, it's kind of like the current alternative pop. Like, there's a lot, obviously, of the 1975 there, and that's a very obvious influence, I reckon. But I don't know, we're very excited about this third EP because I'm really into Travis Scott at the moment and kind of psychedelic <laughs> trap. And I think the way we, we work is definitely, we don't like to half fast anything like mm -hmm. when it comes to, to the our musical. If we don't want to make a song that's a, a pop song with influences of trap, yeah. if we make a trap song, we want to make a trap. I'm not saying we have made a trap song, but there's a lot of, <laughs> at the moment, we're very into like <laughs> best emo. Yeah. And I think the third EP, I don't know, I think the second EP was a bit, it, 
has been kind of finding ourselves and feeling like we found ourselves as a as a indie pop band and now it's kind of us just really experimenting at the moment I think. How I saw you guys at your show back in December at the Flapper um, could you guys tell us about yeah. how you managed to land that gig and some of the process and work that was involved with that? A lot of work <laughs> yeah <laughs> it, was it, was a it was a lot of work <laughs> Yeah, was that through Scriff of the Net? <laughs> it was, was it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. we had our first headline gig. So, when was that? It was in June. <laughs> it was September. September 7th. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. So we had that first gig in September with Scriff of the Neck, and we, we wowed them. So they were like, they wanted to get us for another headline gig, basically, in December. <laughs> so it's... Like, blew them away. <laughs> okay it was basically essentially essentially we did this one show was our first headline show with these promoters that are from manchester called scruff of the neck we managed like because it was our first headline we were like again like with everything we don't like to half ass anything we do we managed to sell out the victoria which is only like 80 people still you know it was good and they were like obviously they were like oh let's do another show and we chose the flapper which is 180 or something and we were like god we're gonna have to put in because it was already a lot of effort to sell out 80 people we were like 180 that's gonna be and and it was a nightmare we 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 were still at college at the time and we post we got posters and put them all over college we got into a lot and they got ripped down they got ripped down yeah Yeah. we were there for hours and literally after college don't get me started don't get me started. Yeah, it was it was very it was very stressful. The whole build up to it was kind of we were we weren't happy with selling ninety percent of the tickets. We wanted it to be a sellout. Yeah. So it was it was really horribly stressful. So most of the bands that we interview at Madlands is mainly from in or very close to around Birmingham. Uh, can you guys? Obviously, you're from Stratford. Yeah. What experience have you guys had coming yeah. onto the scene from such like a kind of isolated place? It was definitely a big shock, I reckon. I think we our first show was supporting a band called Lilyburn mm. in June oh. last year. And it was at oh. Castle and Falcon. And um, we got there, turned up with too many people. It was kind <laughs> of the backstage thing. But we were like, we'd never been like backstage. No, we didn't even, yeah. we were like, oh my God, they've got a green room. This is amazing. But yeah, it was definitely a weird transition because obviously I think... You're a, small, you're a big fish in a small pond. Yeah, because Stratford doesn't really no, have... anything. Like, <laughs> obviously, there's a few, there's a few bands, but there's, there's, not a, there's not a scene of kind no. of bands. And so I think as soon as we got there and realised, I think after that first show, you know, we'd gone from doing like charity shows, what was that, community halls and stuff like that to doing a proper venue and we were like this is this is very different and very you could tell that we weren't very experienced and especially looking back we were terrible and then, and then, yeah I mean there's such a big scene in Birmingham that's it's like it's a difficult transition I reckon mm-hmm. I think mentally psycho- like it was psychology behind it was quite stressful <laughs> <laughs> So talking a bit more about the creative aspects of your music, you've recently uploaded the video for Summer Song 28. more about the creative process for this because like the visuals for that kind of contrast the kind of vibe and the sound of the song itself um i get okay so does archie or ethan or i'll go okay (laughs) um well (laughs) freddie Freddie has to go a second he'll be back um but basically i'd say for summer song i mean the whole the whole idea was to make a summer song like we took the whole kind of auto-tune the beat is a very kind of tropical kind of um i mean it's taken from reggaeton which is kind of like the typical um south american kind of i mean where i used to live in spain that's what people listen to it's this very tropical kind of you know 
and we took that, took the auto tune, got like a really, really kind of cliche <laughs> guitar riff, and we thought, we thought for the video, we kind of, you know, we wanted to stay. I don't know. It was the cool one with summer song, like the video. Like we had this whole idea of linking it into "I Want to Go Home." I'm a bit lost for words now. Anyone want to take on? <laughs> we, we we didn't it's plan like it out as well um, as we could. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No. Yeah. I think also uh, uh, Oxlo was. I think it's a video we're the proudest of. Yeah. We spent so much work on like that. when we can't dance, and it's still obvious in the video that we can't dance, but. <laughs> There was a lot of work put into that. We were kind of thinking, okay, how do we top that? So, I mean, we did put in work, like we drove to, was it Bournemouth? Bournemouth. We drove to Bournemouth. We did have a plan, but it kind of, it didn't make, I don't think it made our idea justice. It was meant to be a lot more, a bit more aggressive with the imagery, which, mm. I don't know if that makes any sense. I'm sorry, I, don't, I feel like I haven't answered your question. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I just That's so, in regards to after like lockdown, what plans I can we expect to see from you guys? He said, what are our plans after no. lockdown, Jack? Our plans are to go ham. One sec, one sec. Someone else answering this. <laughs> okay, my, so... My we, speaker's doing something weird. We've already got, like, <laughs> some <laughs> ideas. <laughs> I think we're definitely... As soon as we get out of lockdown, <laughs> we're definitely going to... Shut up! <laughs> <laughs> we're definitely going to push for this third EP <laughs> that we've got in mind. <laughs> so that'll... Like, be full yeah. force onto that, making sure. <laughs> Why haven't they muted? <laughs> making sure <laughs> that we, like... You answer it. You answer, you answer it. You answer it. We're having a technical, oh, technical issue. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, yeah, we're going to go for the third EP because we kind of put it off for now because we feel like we are limited with our resources due to the lockdown. So as soon as we do get out, it will be, like, full third EP. We've got a couple ideas for other things, a couple gig ideas... And then we've also got the Birmingham Music Awards, which will be oh, fun. God, yeah. When's that? Yeah. November. So that'll be good to yeah, do. Yeah, yeah. Um, go ham. Yeah. That's our plan. Go ham. Yeah. <laughs> Next up, we've got this little thing that we like to do, just a quick fire round, uh, just a couple of short questions. And the first thing that kind of comes to mind with it, uh, just shoot. And these are all kind of mainly aimed, but individually as well. Okay. Um, so who would be each of yours dream collab? Mm. Oh. Michael Jackson. He's not alive. Oh, oh yeah, that would Jesse be good. Redford. Yeah, um, Jesse Redford. Yeah. From the neighbour. Or David Tennant. David Tennant. <laughs> David Tennant. <laughs> David Tennant. <laughs> should, you, should you go around and say, you say one? David Tennant. Yeah, let's say David Tennant. Let's say David Tennant. Okay, David Tennant. David Tennant. <laughs> but just, just <laughs> in general, but not, not, maybe not musically. I'm not saying we should use it musically, more from like... Uh, Video video. Yeah. yeah. I feel like we're looking at this way too deep. <laughs> yeah. So, um, out of all the venues you guys have been to and played at, what's your favourite one? Ooh. Mine was the Black really Apocalypse. Like... Was it? Yeah, yeah, I think, I think, I think the Flapper just because of the yeah, the Flapper you know, for the experience. It was a sold out show. Yeah. Yeah. Good diver. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, That's not really fair. a venue, is it? I, yeah. Which was that one we did with the really good monitors? I really like. Well, the Sunflower Lounge is is really good. That one in Coventry was really good. Yeah, the one in Carl's. The one in Carl's. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That was a great venue. Quick fire. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. yeah. Cast- <laughs> Sorry, yeah. <laughs> this just. So, what's your favourite song from when you guys were growing up? That like was one that really stands out that influenced your music taste now. Here we are today. <laughs> <laughs> um, um jesus dead by my cheek romance because that was when i started listening to not the radio uh i'll probably say someday by the strokes because i remember listening to it as a kid but then liking the strokes later on and then realizing that's the same song that i was listening to as a kid so wow. it did actually influence a thriller by michael jackson if you guys could play at any venue, like anywhere across the world that you guys know of, where would you guys play? Wembley Arena. What, what was that? Um, what no, was that Red Rock. That, Red Rock. That's it. Red, Red Rock. Rock. Yeah. Red, Red Rock. Rock. Oh. Yeah. Red who Rock would you say that? Uh, who has been the best band that you guys have seen? Like the best artist that you guys have seen live? 1975 was the best band I've ever seen. I haven't seen them live. They were amazing. I saw them at Reading. Absolutely incredible. I can't. I'm trying to think. No, back to I mean, stage, stage production wise, yeah. I remember seeing them. That it was so big, though. I felt a bit very. I really enjoyed Swimmers. 
when uh, when yeah, the series swimmers were really good. Yeah, they're very good live locally. The new mm. Freddie and I saw the new and were blown away. So we've basically got this playlist right, and it's a playlist on Spotify which is called Soapy Bops. <clears throat> And basically, we've just been compiling everybody that we've interviewed, like, favourite songs to sing in the shower. So, what oh, is individually okay. you guys' favourite songs to sing when you're in the shower? Barbie Girl. It's a good song. I'd, Aqua. I, I'd say mine is Barbie and Ken by Jesse. Oh, that is a good one, to be fair. I oh, I'm trying to think. Mine changes all the time. It's normally some nothing but yeah. theme song. Oh, yeah, that's a shout, to be fair. Right oh, now, I, I really like I Was Just a Kid by Nothing But Thieves, just because it's a belter. Mm, I don't know what I sing in the shower. I don't know. Probably a Queen song. I'll take a lucky <laughs> yeah. dip. Uh, don't Stop Me Now. You can take a lucky dip. Yeah. I can't think of anything. Maybe on Friday. some Kate Bush, Wuthering Heights. Wuthering Heights by Kate Bush. I haven't heard that one. I don't know why. <laughs> that one. <laughs> so coming to the end of our interview, before we close it up, uh, are there any uh, final messages that you want to give to everybody and where can everyone find you on Twitter and find your music? I think of a good message, an inspirational message. <laughs> what about, what about the hashtag become an edge queen? In these, uh, in these dark times, there's only one way out. And that's to... Stay strong to yourself. Stay strong to everyone. That's a very long message. <laughs> I think, yeah, spread, spread, the spread the love. Spread the love. Got, um, and where can they find us? Find us on YouTube, Instagram, Apple, Apple Music, Music Spotify, Spotify, everywhere, everywhere, anywhere that you can think of, we will be there, and we'll be waiting for you. We will. Yeah. Okay. See you later. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye.